After a dominant win over Ohio State, the Boilermakers returned to West Lafayette undefeated and ranked second in the nation. With an unranked Oregon State coming to town, the stage appeared to be set for a very happy homecoming in Ross Aid. The Beavers had other ideas. Oregon State won the coin toss and took the ball, driving 82 yards to start the game, scoring on a touchdown pass and taking the early lead. Purdue would answer with a seven-play drive capped off with a Leroy Keys touchdown run from 15 yards out. And as the first quarter came to an end, the Boilermakers were driving, all tied up at seven. But a fourth down attempt at the end zone from Mike Phipps to Marion Griffin came up empty, and the Beavers took over on downs. Neither team really took advantage in the second quarter as they traded punts, then turnovers. Finally, late in the period, a Phipps fumble turned into points for Oregon State. A 25-yard field goal right before halftime gave the Beavers a 10-7 lead at the break. And so, a half that saw Purdue do almost whatever it wanted to offensively ended with just seven points on the board, thanks to two interceptions, a fumble, and a turnover on downs. Purdue outgained Oregon State significantly, but still trailed. The Boilermakers received the ball to start the second half and drove right down the field once again, taking the 14-10 lead on a second rushing touchdown for Keys. Oregon State then saw a 12-play drive in with a 32-yard field goal and pulled within one as the game headed to the fourth quarter. For the next 15 minutes on the field, everything went wrong for the home team. A Phipps sweep toss to Keys hit fullback Leon Troyer in the arm, and the fumble was recovered by Oregon State. It took the Beavers seven plays to cover 29 yards before they finally found the end zone and retook the lead 19-14. Oregon State popped the ensuing kickoff high into the shadows of Ross Aid Stadium, and after the ball bounced around for a bit, Owishi recovered at the 27-yard line. The defense stood strong, forcing a 38-yard field goal, and the Boilermakers stayed within a touchdown, 22-14, but less than two minutes remained. Oregon State kicked off deep, and Keyes gave the crowd of more than 60,000 some hope with a 35-yard return out past midfield. Moments later, Phipps threw his fourth interception of the game, and that was that. Oregon State headed home with the upset win. The Beavers would be coined the Giant Killers that year as they also tied second-ranked UCLA on the road and beat top-ranked USC late in the year. Oregon State would finish the season ranked seventh in the nation. For the Boilermakers, the national championship may have been out of reach, but there was still plenty to play for. They would return to conference play with a road trip to Iowa. We'll have that story for you next Throwback Thursday.